good teacher is a teacher that's like happy and motivated and just like so excited to be teaching a class full of kids to help them get far in life. Devin Barhoover, and I'm a seventh grade English teacher at Jefferson Junior Senior High School. What character does she remind you of? One of the characters I introduced you to last week. I come from a family of educators, and it's just kind of in my blood. This is my fifth year teaching, and I actually started out in education as a paraprofessional in an instructional classroom with um, autistic students. Mm. And so I, I loved it so much that I went back and got my teaching degree. It's kind of cliche, but they say, if you love what you do, you never work a day in your life. And I really, really love my job. I love it here at Jefferson. <laughs> I've had other teaching experiences that felt like work to me, but this is enjoyable. I, I love coming to work. My partner teacher and I have a lot of energy. Um, kind of loud down in our little corner. People can tell us that they can like hear us from the cafeteria. We like to have fun. When I'm in a classroom and I'm evaluating teachers, I work for kind of the perfect um, the for perfect combination of teachers interacting with kids and interacting with curriculum. So I think when you have that connection between a teacher and kids, that's great. That means relationship is starting. However, if it's the only interaction, it means the kids aren't learning. This third part is not connecting. So then if the kids connect with the teacher and with the curriculum, it means that there's this awesome interaction that's taking place. So I really want to try to find a way to communicate their their uh, content and their knowledge of their content to their kids. I think the kids can tell if you're interested in a topic or not and if you're just like going through the motions. We have a new book. She's just like so excited to read it to us and she's just so excited to teach us all these different aspects in reading. I get to teach reading and writing and I love both of, I love my content area and I get really excited about the lessons. And she's just so motivated. I need them to almost have a rebirth of, of love for learning. She just us a lot about being yourself and being open-minded and she also teaches us about creativity and learning about new things. It's like a safe place where you know the students know that they can trust me. Once you step in this classroom you automatically feel happy. And it's nice to know that it's like, it's where you can feel yourself. But they also know that there's consequences for their actions and they know that they have to be respectful to one another and to our school and to me. This class is pretty much like our second family. She treats us like yeah, our own kids. It's really hard. It's really tough. Just for example, I woke up at like five in the morning thinking, oh my gosh, just thinking about my lesson plans for the day and um, thinking about what I had to get done <laughs> before 7.45 today. Before school, after school, and during lunch, <laughs> it's always like a revolving door of students coming in and they know that if they want extra help, I'm always there. When I'm having a tough day, I kind of lean on my colleagues a lot. I'm just like, Joey, I can't do this. I, I can't finish the lesson plan for tomorrow. I'm, I'm drained and she'll step up and help me out. I think the more and more that teachers collaborate, they share with each other, they, they support each other, they learn from each other, and they help. Use all of your resources. Um, the ladies who run the induction program, they offer, you know, I know some of my colleagues maybe were struggling with classroom management and they have professional developments for classroom management in these um, 
professional learning communities, it makes your job manageable. What was the learning goal? Can anybody remind me of what the, the purpose of the learning goal was today? Jaden? I look for positivity a lot in teachers, and integrity, and standing out there, and not just being a nervous teacher, just writing stuff down and all. They have to like be motivated about their job. I look for like excitement and joyfulness, and like when you go into her class and when she smiles at you, you can't help but smile back at her. Her smile's contagious. Mm -hmm. It's fun. It's really fun. If you have fun while you're teaching, uh, the students really buy into that. It opens up the student's mind into new learning and learning new things and being able to produce new ideas. I am looking for teachers that are willing to challenge themselves. We're an at-risk community, so I need my teachers to be able to infect their kids with this love for learning. Help the students get far in life and just be enthusiastic. If kids give up, then they won't succeed. She's an awesome teacher and I appreciate her and what she does for our students.